Hello everybody, it's Bogduck, and in today's video, I am going to be showing you how to use World Edit in Minecraft 1.19.3. So, in this video, we're going to be going over 9 simple commands that you can learn how to use in World Edit that is going to make you build much faster and allow you to build huge cities like this one right here. So, the first command that we're going to learn how to use is the wand command. Now, the wand command, all you have to do is hit double slash, double slash, wand, Hit enter and boom, a wooden axe will pop into your inventory. Now this wooden axe ha actually has magical powers with the world edit mod because it will allow you to place and remove thousands of blocks at a time. So once you have your wooden axe, the next thing that we're going to do is actually learn how to set positions. So once you have the axe, you can actually set positions. Now if you hit on the ground right here on this first position, that's going to say position 1, and it will show you the coordinates of that position. If you go over here and hit a different area, that's going to say position 2, and it will show you the positions for, or the coordinates for that position. Now, with that, the next command we're going to learn how to do is the set command. So, to, the set command allows you to set a, an area that you selected with a certain block. So, to do that, we're going to do slash, slash, and then we're going to type out set, and then we're going to type out a block. So for this video, we'll just go ahead and do oak planks, hit enter, and boom, as you can see, the road now has a giant patch of oak planks in the middle of it. So the third command that we're going to learn how to do is the undo and command. So the undo command will allow you to undo any action that you did. So let's say you don't want a giant area of oak planks in the middle of your road. You can do slash slash undo, hit enter, and boom, the planks are gone. And with that, the fourth command is actually quite simple as well. It's the, the redo command. So you can do slash slash redo, and that will go ahead and um, redo the last action that you did with World Edit. And so that will allow you to put those oak planks back in the middle of the road. Oh, there we go. We will undo that though because I don't want to put oak planks in, in the middle of the road. So anyways, next up we're going to learn how to do the walls command. So for this area right here, I'm going to go ahead and build a wall around this sidewalk. So I will set my first position here and my second position here. And I'm going to make a wall of stone brick. So I'm just going to do slash slash. And anytime you want to use a word of command, you hit the slash button twice. So anyways, now I'm going to type out walls, and then I'm going to type out stone bricks, and hit enter, and boom, as you can see, we now have a wall of stone bricks right in the middle of our sidewalk. And that's pretty much all you have to do with the walls command. So the next command we're going to use is the copy command. So anytime you want to copy something, like this red car here, we're going to go ahead and copy this car, and paste it to a different area. Let me get rid of this wall here first. There we go. All right, so we have this car right here. We want to copy this car and paste it. So, and those are the, are the next two commands that we're going to learn. So first, you want to select a region of the car. So we'll just go ahead and make that our first position. And then over here, we're going to make that the second position. All right. And when you copy something, it's very important to stand in a location that you're going to remember to copy. So you always want to stand like on ground level, so that way it's easy for you to copy it. So anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to hit slash slash, and then we're going to type out the word copy, and hit enter. And it will say um, however many blocks are affected. So in this case, it'll be 200 blocks affected, and that is pretty much... Um, how you can copy something. So we just copied this car, and now we are going to practice rotating it and pasting it. So first we're just going to paste it. So let's just say we're going to paste it right here. So to do that, we want to put it in a reasonable area. Now if we look back here, since we copied it from this location, which was right here, I know that when I paste the car, it's going to be in front of me, it's going to be off to the right, and it's going to extend in, um, it's going to go ahead and extend, what direction is it going to extend? Uh, south. It's going to extend south. So we're going to face the car south, and then it's going to be a little bit off to the right here because I was standing on the left side of it. So if we go up here, we're going to paste it from here, do slash, slash, and then type out the word paste, and then boom, as you can see, our car is pasted. Now it looks exactly like the car that we copied. 
the only difference is we now pasted it. So there is a second car right there that we have just pasted. Now you can also go ahead and rotate this car. So if you want to rotate something, you want to type out slash slash rotate, and then you want to hit space. Now from here, there are four main cardinal directions. There's north, south, east, and west. So you can either rotate something 90 degrees, 180 degrees, or 270 degrees. For example, if you rotate something 180 degrees, then you can rotate it. And like for a car, you can go to the other side of the road, like over here, and you can paste it. And then as you can see, our car is now pasted and it's facing the opposite direction of our previous car. So this was the car that we originally copied. It's facing this way, it's going south. We rotated it 180 degrees and now it is facing north and going in this direction. So we can put it on this side of the road. Now, if we have a side road right here, so this is the direction we're facing, we can rotate it 90 degrees. That's gonna rotate it 90 degrees this way. So we can type out slash slash rotate space and then hit 90. It's gonna go ahead and rotate 90 degrees. Now we can go down here to this road and we can actually paste it on this road. And as you can see, boom, our car is now going on this road in that direction. And of course, you can do the same thing if you want to rotate something 270 degrees. We can go ahead and undo that. And we're going to rotate 270 degrees. So that is going to be it to the left. So we're going to go ahead and rotate 270. Spin to the left. And we can put it down this little side road right here. And hit paste. And then boom, as you can see, our car is now on this little road. I actually kind of like it there, so I'm just going to keep it there. I'm not going to do anything with that one. And so that's pretty much all you can do for rotating. So I hope that you get it. But just as a brief um, brief reminder, I'll put my character on um, F5 so you can see it. So 90 degrees is going to be going this way. 180 degrees is going to be rotating all the way around like that. And then 270 degrees is going to be going that way. So just picture a clock like 90, 180, 270, back to zero. There we go. All right, so that is pretty much the rotate command. In fact, there's only one other command that we have to learn for World Edit, and that is the replace command. So going back over here to our little car, we're going to go ahead and first select our position. All right, with our wooden axe. I actually have two of them in my inventory right now, so that's just great. All right, so we set our first and second positions. Now, we're going to change this car. It's red right now. I don't really want it to be red. I want it to be blue. So we're going to change this red wool to blue wool. So we're going to do slash slash, and then we're going to type out the word rep, R-E-P, and hit space. You don't even need to type out the full word replace. If you just do R-E-P and hit space, that's all you need to do. It's going to be so much quicker in the long run. So now what you can do is you can do type out the word red and scroll down until you find red wool. Um, where is red wool? Here it is. Now anyways, you don't want to type out the full word. You want to leave like the last letter off or whatever because if we put a D here, as you can see, everything goes away. If we remove that D, then everything pops up again. So we can go down here and do red wool. So right now we have rep red wool. All right. And guys, feel free to pause the video if this is getting a little confusing and try out your own microphone as I'm doing it because you're going to learn so much faster if you actually experiment on it on your own. So anyways, you can hit space and we're going to replace the red wool with blue wool. So we're going to type out BLU. It's going to show our blue. We're going to scroll down, hit wool. So now it says rep red wool, blue wool. And we're going to hit enter and boom. As you can see, all of those blocks have been replaced. And that is blue wool, which I don't know why that actually kind of looks like it's purple, but it's not. It's blue. Purple wool looks like that. So much different. Anyways, they could have made it a little bit more blue. So we are going to now change the top roof, which is the carpet. So I'll show you how to do it just again, a little bit quicker this time. So we're going to do rep. We're going to do red carpet. Then we're going to change it to blue carpet and hit enter. And there we go. As you can see, the car is now bluish purple and instead of red. So that is pretty much 
all you have to do in order to use the replace command. And so I hope that this tutorial was helpful. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and now you know how to use Word Edit in Minecraft 1.19.3. And by the way guys, this tutorial will work for pretty much any version, um, even if it's not 1.19 at all if you just use the symbol commands so i hope that you enjoyed that feel free to leave a comment in the comment section if you have any questions or um thoughts about the video but anyways guys thanks for watching and have a great day